happened to shooting Kieran. Hi guys, good evening. Well, this shooting is troubling and disturbing for so many people who live and work in this area because many of them say they actually know the 47-year-old victim. He was shot in broad daylight and at this hour, the suspect is still on the loose. This video shows the aftermath of the brazen shooting on the Upper West Side Thursday morning. People can be seen running for safety. Another video shows a man on a stretcher being helped by police. And we heard like pop, 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 and we heard that it was more. We saw that a lot of our regulars began to like frolic inside and hide behind the counter. Barista Ariel Schmidt was inside the coffee shop across the street when the gunshots rang out. She and her fellow employees and customers ran into the bathroom for safety. And people hid um, behind the counters in the back of our shop and in our bathroom. Um, and we stayed in there for probably like 15 minutes called 911. The shooting happened around 920 in the morning at the corner of West 69th Street and Columbus. Police say a man shot another man before running off to the nearby subway. The victim was shot in the shoulder and leg. The man that was shot in the bike lane was still on the floor, um, but they had the stretcher under him to lift him um, onto it, and then they took him away. I saw him moving his arm. Detectives are now looking for this man seen in this video walking down the sidewalk right before the shooting happened. These baristas say they've heard from the community it was not random. There was a work conflict that happened that turned into like a larger fight that left the establishment. Christopher Butt works in the area. He says the victim is the owner of this computer shop, Lincoln Business Machines, that's around the corner. And I got some of my computers repaired there in the past, and I always used to say hello to him in the morning. He'd be smoking outside the store. He was very quiet, very courteous. People in the area are now on edge, but are glad the victim is expected to be okay. Well, I just feel good that he's still alive and he hopefully recovers. Um, it's horrible that someone would do something like that to him. So we spoke to several employees of that computer shop, and they did confirm to us that the victim is their owner, but they didn't want to say much more. Meantime, this uh, search of the subway system, or this suspect running into the subway system, I should say, led to many subway lines being disrupted today. Luckily, everything is back up and normal. Back up to normal, I should say. So we are live on the Upper West Side as we go on with this developing story. Again, that suspect is still on the loose. We will bring you more details, guys. I'll send it back to you. Yeah,